Okay, so my phone is, is acting totally weird and like won't, it's not letting me like hear the little ding, you know, when it wants to record. So I'm coming here just to kind of state my opinion on cyberbullying and what I think about it. I personally have been cyberbullied and it wasn't necessarily through YouTube, although I have gotten one comment before. And it was probably from somebody I know. So, you know, whatever. And it, it didn't bother me, the YouTube thing. But what did bother me was when I was getting bullied by a friend on Facebook that I physically knew on Facebook, telling me that I am going to the hospital to just get drugs or to do whatever, you know, I'm sick of this, I'm, I'm, I'm sick of hearing, nothing's wrong with you, blah, 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 blah. But you're a bad mom, you're stuff like that, you know, no wonder you don't have your kids or whatever. You don't know my life. You don't, you're not in my life. You, you don't know. You know, I don't know if you watch my videos, but you're not in my life. And I, you know, words are hurtful, you know, and, you know, I was watching Samantha Sherman's video, and I can totally understand where she's coming from, you know, I mean, sometimes people actually take their lives over cyberbullying, especially teenagers, you know, I, it's, I've seen it on the news, I used to watch HLN every day, and, you know, you would hear something about, about it, that a teenage girl would be cyberbullied because, um, she had a crush on a boy, and in some adult, uh, I can't exactly remember, but the adult was behind the keyboard, and she killed herself because this lady was bullying her so bad, pretending to be a boy or, or whatnot. Um, but I'm just saying, you know, in, in my instance with being Sarah Bully, it, it, I didn't see it as being Sarah Bully because I actually knew the person. And I, you know, I, I blocked, I blocked her because, you know, I just didn't want that negativity like, on my page, and I think it was absolutely rude and unnecessary, and so did a lot of people. And, um, you know, I, I definitely would take her apology, you know, because I do know her. I, um, I, I don't know. You know, I, I, I've never had anything wrong against her, and I didn't know that I wronged her by doing, by, by doing something that she heard through the grapevine or whatever, you know. I went to the hospital, yes. I have a kidney problem. I have a thyroid problem. I'm saying, excuse me, I'm sorry. You know, yes, I'm divorced. I don't have my kids 100% of the time. That's just the way life is. I don't go around telling, you know, someone, oh, you are a bad parent because you have multiple daddies. Who cares? Who cares? It, it's not your life, you know. There's no reason to put your two cents into someone else's life that you don't even know, you know, and state your opinion. That's just what I think, you know, what I'm saying. I mean, you just, you, you don't. Um, keep compliments going, you know, that's always a nice thing to do. You know, if you don't agree with someone, then agree to disagree with that person. But you don't have to be mean to them. You don't have to bully them. You don't have to write mean things back to them. You know, you don't have to steep to that level. So if you're watching this and you're going through this and you have, and you're a teenager, you're an adult, or Anyone in between and you're dealing with cyberbullying, whether it's on YouTube, Facebook, MySpace, Twitter, whatever, you do not have to deal with it. You can block the person and, you know, try not to let it get to you. I know because words hurt. Words, they do. It's just part of human nature. When someone tells us something, it goes into our belief system. Um, and after you hear it for a while, you may start to believe that. Oh, you are a, you're a faggot, you're bad, you know. You, and if you hear that over and over and over and over and over, you're going to believe, okay, since I'm gay, am I bad? No. 
you know, that, that, that's what that person might think. Or I, I don't have my kids full time. You know, you hear that over and over and over and over again. Um, what did you do wrong to not have your kids all the time? You know, why, why are you a bad parent? Just because I'm a mom and I don't have my kids all the time doesn't make me a bad parent. You know, it's just the way um, things worked out. You know what I'm saying? So, um, and I just want everyone to get along and, you know, but that's, that's in a perfect world, you know, I want everyone to get along. Are we all going to get along? No. <laughs> Got an email. <laughs> We're not all in a perfect world going to get along, but we should really stop the cyberbullying and stop these hateful comments and words on our screen because it's absolutely ridiculous. You know, if someone writes something to me on my YouTube channel that's rude or something, I, I don't even take two cents to, if I, if I even start to read it and think it's rude, I automatically just delete it. I don't even read it because I don't, I don't care. I don't know that person or I don't think I know that person, you know. Um, it's someone behind the computer screen. But, you know, I do read each and every one of your comments, and I think, you know, I have great support on here, you know, and um, I'm, like, totally going off subject here. But, you know, someone congratulate or good luck on my 300 subscriber goal. And, you know, it's not that I want, like, all these subscribers, because I could literally have three subscribers and I would still make these videos. I would have one subscriber and make these videos for you. If you enjoy watching what I make, I will make it for you because I enjoy doing it. It's something that I enjoy doing. But um, I am going off subject here. But anyways, we should all be nice to each other, give each other um, compliments, you know, and... Like Samantha said, Samantha Sherman from The Sherman Show, compliment each other, compliment people in real life, you know, it really does make a difference. Someone told me I had beautiful blue eyes, uh, Old Navy, and um, this was a few months ago, and I still remember it, you know. I mean, I'm like, oh, well, thank you, you know. I, I saw this lady looking over at me, and I was like, oh, my God, what is she looking at, you know. <laughs> What's wrong with my face? Um, and then she's just like, I have to tell you, you have the most beautiful blue eyes I've ever seen. And I was just like, oh, thank you. <laughs> she's like, are those your real eyes? I'm like, yeah, they're real, you know, just, <laughs> they're 100% real. Um, I was, I was tanner then, so when I'm tan, my eyes just like kind of pop out. You know, it might have been my makeup, I don't know. But I remember that compliment, and it was just so sweet. And, um, you don't have to take bowling in real life either. You know, I don't care who it is. Um, if you don't have to be bullied by, if you're a child, I don't, a teen, you don't have to be bullied by a parent. I don't care. I don't care. People need to have respect for people, you know, and I'm not saying be disrespectful to your parents or whatever, or, you know, if they're punishing you, they're being disrespectful. That's a different story. Um, I'm just saying that um, you, you shouldn't have to be bullied. You shouldn't have to be put up with it in general. You know, you go to someone because someone will put them in their place. You know, you're not supposed to do that. That's not a good thing to do. That's not right. You know, don't do it. You know, so let's try and keep YouTube and our surroundings where we live a better place. So thank you for watching this video. I um, Yeah. Please comment and subscribe. And like I said, my video is or my channel. My video is where am I going? Okay, my channel is basically on beauty, on vlogs, on a whole bunch of stuff. So I'm going to be doing a video here soon, getting ready to make this face look more pretty. <laughs> um. <clears throat> I'm getting wrinkles on my forehead, and I just don't like it. <gasps> but that's besides the point. Okay, stop cyberbullying behind your keyboard. Stop saying you look like a stupid head because you're stupid. It's stupid. <laughs>
okay? So it is. <clears throat> yeah. And, and don't make up ridiculous lies and rumors about people because it's nonsense. And it's dumb. So, yeah, that's what I have to say. So I love you guys, and thank you for subscribing. Thank you for all the new subscribers. Thank you for subscribing so much. It means a lot to me. And what I'm doing is I'm trying to get my nail polishes together to kind of color coordinate them to see what people will like. I'm so excited. But I'm really excited to get to the 300 mark because I want to give away that Mac gift card and Elf gift card. So, yes, again, I'm rambling. And, oh, I just have to say I love Kim Kardashian's perfume. I, oh my gosh, I am almost out. I have this much left. This is like one of my signature scents besides Dolce & Gabbana, the one. My <coughs> mother-in-law, well, ex-mother-in-law, well, I love her anyway. She bought me Dolce & Gabbana, the one, like three years ago, and I just ran out. And, yeah, so. It's, it's like my favorite perfume of life. I just used a Sam word. I'm not trying to copy her, but I do love you, Sam. Okay, everyone, have a good day. And, oh my god. I love gardenias. If you love gardenias and if you want to smell like springtime, then I definitely recommend this perfume. It smells beautiful. Okay, stop being poo head. As another word, as Sam Sherman would say, stop being a poo head. <laughs> and compliment each other. <laughs> Bye, guys.